on realizing I am black. One. What the? Huh. If they say so. Two. Born American, raised Dominican, found black, found God, found home. Three. <laughs> you kidding me, right? <laughs> I mean, don't you eat rice and beans every night? When was the last time you had some mac and cheese, collard greens, or some neck bones? You know, speaking Spanish means that you are Spanish. This means you are greedy. Here you go, some neck bones, along with the vertebrae of America's hung foundation fathers. Ain't that what you wanted? To call African ancestors yours too? Afro-Latino, Taino Indian, are those drinks you Spanish people get during happy hour? Ha, ain't no happy hour when the hands of your clock are shackled, dragged, baton beaten, blow, bleed out countless moments, drowning your existence in alcohol, trying to forget that you were even born. So when you are murdered, it's just another bump from a stranger on the sidewalk for. In Boston, I held the elevator door for every white person that I look sharper than. I reach into my pockets, they grab their bags tighter, my hair grows as an afro. My grandfather would tell me to stop looking like a nigger. I'd tell him I'm celebrating the way God made me. My grandfather smiled in the faces of my black friends like he had a lynch mob in his back pocket. His teeth, the 13th, 14th, 15th amendment shredded into 36 different pieces of bigotry. Five, my grandfather died the moon I I am not him. I am black and full of stars. I am not the absence of light. I am who allows light to exist. I am mother. I am Africa. Do not confuse me for hip hop and rap. Those are my fraternal twin grandchildren who are always asking for money. You know, Biggie, Pac, Pun, you see stars died and have come home to me. I am not ugly. I am who allows you to be beautiful. Now, isn't that the most the blackest thing you've ever heard God say? I smile the wide way, the way of deserts in droughts, and the guy shoves his tongue in and here, I am not hungry, this guy.